my leadership in my firm uh, kind of told me, hey, this is the, these are the skills you bring and this is what might match up to you. Now, in my organization, certification is required at some point. Everybody has to get some certification. Choosing which one, for me, ISACA made sense because it was where, when I kind of sense, like, what do I get lost in? What is my passion where I can just say, wow, I can't believe two hours have passed and it just went back like a snap. This was the area, so that made sense. So I've been certified for four years. Um, keeping current is really, it's that lifeblood. It's knowing what that next thing is, is everything in my field. It's everything in my job. Um, I'm looked to as an outside consultant. I'm paid to know what the next best practice is. And so that current certification built into that is, are you staying abreast of the, you know, the industry as I guess? Oh, absolutely. Um, that, so your ISACA certification, like I'm a CISA, and that gets a built-in brand recognition. So if I approach a client or a client comes to me and wants to know about my background, that's instant recognition of, okay, there's a baseline of knowledge here that I know. There's a professionalism built in. And because it's a current certification, they know that I'm abreast of what needs to be known. I do. Um, I have, you know, had the experience over years of dealing with people and helping guide them along their professional development. And I see there's a gateway point between prior to certification, what they've done to get that experience and then ramp up to get their certification, and then what they're able to deliver after that. And there's a, there's a clear difference. I recommend the certifications I hold to my peers almost every day.